advisor, serve the children, all protocols duly and most respectfully observed. On behalf of the Commandant General of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Dr. Ahmed Abubakar Abdi, MNI OFR, I wish to welcome you to the headquarters of the National Self School Response Coordination Center. And I learned your visit is to engage major stakeholders in the self school in Nigeria. I also want to commend you for the good work you have been doing in Nigeria. I learned the center has been operating for over 100 years. You have been in Nigeria since 2011. You are operating in 17 out of the 36 states of the Federation, tirelessly working for the rights and welfare of children. I also wish to inform you that the primary responsibility of any government is to ensure the security and well-being of the citizenry. This is because no meaningful national development can take place without security. Our dear nation recently has been facing very serious security challenges. We have terrorism and insurgency, banditry, kidnapping, which are new to us years before. Unfortunately, the thing extended beyond those things I have mentioned. In fact, if I take you back, Boko Haram, there are major focus is on Western education. They said it's forbidden, it's not supposed to be practiced in our country. That has exposed our children, particularly school children, to danger. They have been kidnapped, they have been killed. That was why the idea of setting up this national self school response coordination center actually came to be. And it may interest you to know that the center is actually composed of all the relevant stakeholders, security agencies, government agencies, and all stakeholders are involved. So it's something that is really very commendable and has gone a long way actually in securing our children in schools. My here is to actually welcome you, like I said, to this center. I don't want to talk much. I think I'll give the microphone to the coordinator of the center so that discussions will continue and so that you understand what the centre is for. Once again, you are welcome to Nigeria. I wish you a very fruitful and happy stay in our country. You are welcome. So quite optimistic about this collaboration and for uh, we congratulate you definitely for opening of this centre. Thank you. Uh, senior Self Schools advisors of the children now we the team in Nigeria, representative of the Federal Ministry of Education, uh, representative of the Governors Forums, so my colleagues, men of the press, ladies and gentlemen. The welcome speech has been said, you responded, and now we are into a much more detailed session that we shall be looking into a general overview and overview about the National Safe Schools the Response Coordination Center. The Save the Children Safe School Initiative predominantly was launched by the UN Special Envoy for Education by name uh, Gordon Brown alongside Nigerian Group of Business Coalition for Education and Private Sector Leaders at the World Economic Forum in Africa. Now, Mr. President had also ratified the Safe School Declaration, which is even what we are using as the legal framework for the center, among others. So I must say thank you for all you've been doing. We've been watching from distance, but now we are involved and we'll try to enrich all. The schools are both private and uh, unity schools, the government schools, Ours is school is a school, whether it is private or otherwise, and we are going to, uh, we need the support to secure those schools. What are we talking about here? Support, including women group, let's start from there, that you will not even think of. The youth, everybody, government, non-governmental organizations, 
but local and international support that we will have to do that. Then luckily for us, a forum was organized that is called Financing Safe Schools. It was held at a uh, Transcom meeting where we presented this data. And I believe as a service, that was how we came into the Safe Schools program officially with this data. We could humbly request that you look at the flex just here. You will see financing self school project, and next to that is National School Security and Emergency Response Center. The functions are one to provide forensic evidence based response coordination in collaboration with security agencies. What we mean by this is that it is not that when we call you, you will later deny. If we call on the school to do a particular thing, as we will take you around, you will discover that there is a role that the school authorities, the school communities, they need to play. For example, for now we are trying to, what we are doing now is to establish chan uh, channels of communication directly to the schools. However, we are hoping that as soon as possible because we have just started. As I speak to you, I am aware that the Federal Ministry of Education has written to the schools as to what they will do. So we are taking it step by step, hoping that within the next three months, you will get a different data about this center. Other functions of this center are as presented on the screen. All the relevant stakeholders. And this, I want to assure you, sir, that for us in the civil society, we will mobilize our partners, we will mobilize our colleagues. Uh, my colleague is uh, here. Uh, she's very good at mobilizing, even at the global level. Uh, we'll push and see how we can support the center. Uh, currently, uh, next week, we'll be training uh, security agencies in Maiduguri, and the letter has been written to the um, uh, Commander General uh, to invite at least six uh, NSCDC um, officials in Bono State to participate, Nigerian Police and then the Army. Um, they will all be participating in that training. For capacity building, I've started discussion with Dr. Teso on how we can start by building the capacity of the staff in the center. This is something that in no distant time will finalize and then we start with the staff of the center. As states, as states uh, coordination centers are being established, we'll also mobilize to train you know, the center staff across the states so that we'll be on the same page. In terms of capacity building, I think in country we can mobilize. Um, the CSOs, uh, development partners, humanitarian partners, we can push, mobilize them, and we'll provide the support to start the training. But again, that is just for a start. We need more technical, specific kind of capacity building for the staff of the center. And that's where uh, we'll be working together with my colleague at the global level and see how do we mobilize for this kind of uh, technical support. Um, we'll be having uh, a review meeting of the Safe Schools Common Approach training module um, in two weeks time in Senegal. Uh, I think she has a lot of story to tell them about Nigeria. And let me tell you, Nigeria is currently globally is leading when it comes to the implementation of safe food development. <laughs> Lastly, um, I talked about the center in Norway. Um, at late January and early February, I was in Norway and we went to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. One of the key achievements and commitment of Nigerian government is the financing safe schools and the establishment of this center. Anything done before, before that, I think, is not a tangible achievement as far as I'm concerned. But the commitment of Nigerian government to start financing self schools through the Federal Ministry of Budget, uh, Budget and Planning is a very serious commitment that the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs are very interested in uh, how is the financing going. And then they are looking forward to see what is the center doing. And part of what she will take back home to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because You'll be looking out to the reports of this visit. And I'm assuring you that by the time they see some of the commitments the center has done, and then gradually we'll be working together, we'll be sending reports 
who will also be mobilizing to get capacity building in terms of webinars, in terms of fiscal training and all that, we will try to get as much as we can so that the right technical people will be professionally trained. We are doing this because our children are suffering out there and this is a commitment that we have to make. Thank you. Thank you.